Come on, Moby, take the picture already. My uh, my hair looks fine. Just take the picture. <laughs> Dear Tim and Moby, can you tell me about photography? From Marjorie. Photography is the art of taking pictures or photographs. As you probably already know, we take pictures using cameras. A camera works by capturing light from the world around us so it can be made into a picture. The first commercially available pictures were called daguerreotypes, which were printed on polished silver instead of paper. They were invented in 1839 by a Frenchman named Louis J. M. Daguerre. At that time, having your picture taken was a new and exciting concept, and it became popular very quickly. But the process was expensive, time-consuming, and difficult. The equipment that photographers needed for developing photographs was very cumbersome. Also, a subject had to sit completely still for 60 seconds to be photographed successfully. In the late 1800s, photography was revolutionized by an American inventor named George Eastman, who developed a new process for capturing images on film instead of plates. Yeah, photography became a lot easier. In 1900, the Eastman Kodak Company released the Brownie, a cheap box camera that everyone could use easily. The Brownie was groundbreaking. It let regular people capture everyday life in a whole new way. Photography became an integral part of news coverage. In fact, the pictures that photojournalists took for newspapers and magazines became as important as the stories. Often, news photos were far more memorable than the written stories they illustrated. Yeah, one little picture can have a really big impact. Photography has been a major influence as an art form, too. What started out as a curiosity now graces the walls of museums. From images of nature to portraiture, photography became one of the dominant arts of the 20th century. These days, photographers using digital cameras can increase that impact by editing photos on a computer. Hey! Well, taking a really good picture can be harder than it looks. It may seem like you're just pushing a button, but photography is an art. You have to think about the image's composition. That's the way the parts of a photograph are arranged. First, figure out what the main element of the photo is. Don't just take a picture from the first angle you happen to see. If you can, try looking at it from other angles. Try to keep the picture simple. You don't want lots of objects crowding out your main subject. And think about how you want to balance the elements in your photo. You don't always want to put the main subject right in the middle, because, you know, it can look kind of boring. You can use a thing called the rule of thirds. That's where you imagine the photo is divided into three equal thirds, and you group key elements in the left or right third. Asymmetry, or unevenness, can make for a much more interesting picture. Try to put some contrast in your photo. Light colors against dark backgrounds, and vice versa, generally look pretty good. And think about framing. That's where you put something in the foreground or along the borders to indicate the picture's setting. Finally, you may want to consider what statement you want to make with your photo. Well, it could be anything from a political statement to just look how pretty this flower is. That dog sure must have drunk a lot of water? Yeah, I, I guess that's a legitimate statement. <laughs>